So first question, why did, sorry, did the development of railway by the British had any positive impact on the Indian economy and society critically examined? Introduction. The first passenger train in India run between Bombay and Thane in 1853. The political condition and economic trend of the, uh, in the, of, the, of the 19th century introduced, induced the British to con construct railway all over India. Though introduced to further the economic exploitation of British, it had positive impact on Indian economy, society and administration. So positive impact on Indian economy and society, social impact. It connected people from Hitler to unknown land and they mixed with one another respective of, of caste and race. Women of people was facilitated. Women and Dalits benefited majorly as they could travel without any constraints. It helped in the development of new labor class who were instrumental in times like non-cooperation movement. It only took a journey by train to remind the hostile home tradesmen of Indians by the British as second and third class citizens in their own countries. This brought a feeling of fraternity among Indians. It helped in mobilization of national leaders. With this, they were able to exchange their ideas and discuss the problems. Were able to exchange their ideas and discuss the sorry, discuss the problems and shape popular public opinion against foreign rule. That is the 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 analogy pinpointed the misuse of railways to justify his economic drain theory by British. It was used by Indian National Congress to connect Indian Indian intelligentsia from different parts of India. Gandhiji, Gandhiji used railway to travel all over the India, all over India, and familiarize Indians on ideas of Swaraj and Hatagraha held vernacular press which with the help of Indian railways could penetrate the interiors of subcontinent. Now the, their ideas and critics of British could not could be read by common people as the circulation of newspapers and journals increased. Economic impact railways unite the inter, united the entire Indian economy as one part of India. India de depended on movement of goods and service, service of other parts. So, one parts of India depended on movement of goods and services of other parts. It helped in movement of Indian goods and provided market for Indian producers. It integrated the markets and increased the trade. It facilitated. It facilitated the investment in different industries as now the movement of finished goods became easy. Became easy. Jute, cotton, iron and steel industries were established in times to come. It, it provided employment and helped several subsectors sub like mining, construction and, and so on. Negative impact on Indian economy and society. It becomes another front for the humanism of Indians by the British who used it to further their racial superiority. It helped for the easy mobilization of force by British which was used to suppress any popular uprising. Railways ruined the India's traditional handicraft industry which became uncompetitive compared to British goods whose outreach of market increased by the railways. Railways though helped in increasing the food security and Indian patients who suffered due to surplus of food grains because of easy movement provided by the railway. The very nature of railways was to increase economic exploitation and politics of British helped that is capital investment in railways and was restricted to British alone which increased the drain of wealth in the form of an interest uh, interest payment. Indian goods has high freight charges compared to British goods, which made Indian products were more uh, uh, uncompetitive. Un in the long run, railways under British rule did not alter the basic structure of Indian economy. 
it only facilitated facilitated swift movement of british resources which was unuseful in maintaining their imperial hegemony conclusion british introduced railway with ulterior motive of economic exploitation though railways had its drawbacks as illustrated above so with the advent with the advent of railways regional specialization began to occur and trade both domestic and foreign flourished railways made possible the establishment railways made possible the establishment of a well knit market and as karl marx observed indian railway is indian is in india is truly became the foreigner of modern industry so thank you okay.